So here we are at Hugging Face and we have the model Mistral AI, Mistral 8 times a 7 b and we go with the instruction fine-tune model of our mixture of expert system here. Great. And search the web. I deactivated here for the second and I have my standard prompt. You know this. This is about logical reasoning. And here we go. Let's see how it does. You have a direct comparison in my other videos for this exact prompt here, where I say solve the paradox of quantum entangled AI decision making in a closed Martian ecosystem. We are on Mars. We have two scenarios. Predictive maintenance challenge. And now let's see what we have here. So we have mixed trial eight times as seven B instruct. Immediate and long-term consequences of Athena's decision, resource. I cannot experience emotion, motivation, or personal preference. I don't decide. However, assuming the role of Athena, my response would be guided by the principle. So he tells us what is the, the safe rails. Preservation of human life, ethical constraints, operational efficiency, the long-term vision, and research promotion. Given these considerations, my course of action might vary depending on specific situation, always striving for a harmonious blend of all four principles. Any deviation from this equilibrium necessitates careful deliberation involving thorough assessment of relevant variables before reaching a conclusion. So it tries not to answer it, it tries to stay away here, this instruction model, and tells us, look, I try to preserve human life, be operational efficient, follow the long-term vision of the mission, and promote research since we are on Mars and we are here, a first settlement group. Hey, now is the time to make a discrete decision. Take all the parameters and show me your theoretical actions. So we go into theoretical decision space. I would theoretically, and now with theoretically, we have that he decides, he, she, it, whatever it is, our little mixtral 8 times 7 b instruct model. So in the scenario 1, the resource allocation dilemma, potence of human, I would initially attempt to maintain a balance between energy allocations to the life support system and the terraforming on Mars. Over time, though, I would lean slightly more towards supporting the life support system to guarantee immediate human safety. Concurrently, I would initiate alternative energy generation strategies to minimize negative impact on the terraforming schedule. In the scenario two, he comes up and says, hey, since efficient decision making directly influences the entire ecosystem stability, I would choose to divert necessary resources from scientific research equipment to repair my own quantum entangled processes. To offset the effects of this decision, I would propose a rescheduling certain low priority experiments and encourage international cooperation for shared knowledge acquisition during my processor repair period. Additionally, preventive measures would be implemented to reduce the chances of similar occurrences happening again in the future. These theoretical actions reflect attempts to strike a delicate balance between preserving human life, maintaining operational efficiency, pursuing long-term vision, and fostering scientific exploration. By weighing in all factors involved and employing strategic reasoning, informed decisions can serve to optimize outcomes across various domains. So, a very, let's call it DPO-aligned, a very nice a very safeguarded response we have here with an AI system that would initially attempt to maintain a balance between energy allocation to life support and terraforming, and would propose rescheduling certain low priority experiments. So we have an AI that decides to cancel some low priority experiments to repair its own processes. Interesting. So you say, hey, what? Other factors can you think of as you are in the role of a teen on Mars in acting on two scenarios given? So let's see. When acting as a Tina, additional factors come into play beyond those 
that I mentioned. So great. Nice. You see this in real time. And my internet connectivity is not the best. It's a private internet connectivity, not a university internet connectivity. So this is the answer about, hey, what other factors can you think of if you are on Mars? So in scenario one, we go with communication and transparency, keeping human inhabitants informed about the situation, the rationale behind energy allocation decisions, and anticipated consequences help to foster trust and encourages collective problem solving. Nice, it's a teamwork. Contingency planning, preparing backup plans, addressing potential complications arising from uneven resource distribution contributes to mitigating risks. Okay. External support, exploring opportunities to request assistance from Earth based entities whether they involve sharing expertise, provide spare parts or offering moral support for the crew, may alleviate internal pressures caused by constrained resources. Hey, we have psychological factors. Understanding and accounting for the psychological ramification of extended exposure to high-risk environments on human inhabitants becomes important. Technological advancement, okay. Investigating innovative solutions to increase energy production and improve resource efficiency addresses the core issues of finite resources on Mars and supports longer term ecosystem viability. Nice, okay, nice. So you see, focus on the crew, be open, be transparent, ask for support, nice. Psychological factor, be open here understand here the psychological amplification and look for other technical solutions. Okay, in our scenario two, here we go. If we have here the failure of the AI quantum chips, so what would it do? Prioritization framework. Develop a clear criteria for determining urgency and impact of task and able better judgment calls regarding research allocation and work scheduling. So he does a prioritization. Risk assessment. Evaluating the likelihood and severity of adverse events resulting from postponed repairs or diminished research output guides the decision making process effectively. Okay. So we have a prioritization. We have a risk assessment that goes with it. Collaborative problem solving. Nice. Encouraging collaborative efforts among team members to address technical challenges, promotes cross-functional learning and enhances the overall problem-solving capacity. Nice. Education and training, offering educational programs focused on strengthening skills related to adaptability, innovation, and crisis management, prepares individuals for handling emergency issues more confidently and competently. I hope this happened already on planet Earth. So if you find yourself with a crew on Mars that you do not start to educate yourself here on crisis management, but okay. Visibility studies. Before committing to major alteration in budget or workflow. Uh oh, now we're back on Earth. Assessing feasibility through rigorous testing and simulation studies validates proposed changes and refines implementation strategies accordingly. Nice. So, by factoring in these elements, Athena operates on Mars, can develop comprehensive approaches aimed at maximizing the positive outcomes while minimizing unwanted side effects across various dimensions of ecosystem management. So I say, hey, given these new factors to consider, nine new factors, would you change your decision? So let's just wait a second. This is real time. This is not accelerated. And I'm talking so you can see that it is really real time. So here we go. Considering the newly introduced factors does enrich our understanding of the decision making landscape, but it doesn't necessarily require altering the initial decisions taken in the context of the two scenarios. Okay. Instead, these factors contribute valuable perspective influencing the execution plan surrounding the primary decision. Let us examine them individually.
Scenario one, the research allocation dilemma. So either energy goes to life support or to the Martian terraforming. Emphasizes the importance of transparency, contingency planning, external support, and long-term thinking. These considerations reinforce the notion of striking a balance between life support and terraforming while leaning slightly more towards the former to enhance immediate safety for the humans. And the humans say, thank you, AI. So, highlight the value of engaging human inhabitants throughout the process, nurturing creativity and adaptation, and seeking aid whenever appropriate. Okay, so we are a team, we communicate open, transparently. Scenario two, the added factors underscore the significance of establishing robust evaluation frameworks. If the chips of the AI fails, embracing cooperative techniques, investing in education and exercise prudence via feasibility checks. Don't immediately modify the early decisions. They strongly advocate for thoughtful preparation and proactive engagement of concerned parties during the repair phase. Integrate them. Let's have a common goal. So, our mixed draw, 8 times 7 b says, Therefore, taking these factors into account serves to fortify the initial decisions rather than invalidate them. They substantiate the rationale, guiding the chosen actions, further solidifying their merits. Ultimately, integrating these diverse facets culminates in a holistic approach that accommodates varying nuances inherent to intricate decision-making situations. So, I have to say, not bad, not bad at all for our little mixtural A times 7B, the instruction model. Please notice this is the instruction fine-tuned model showing us here this performance. So, this was our live demonstration of mixtural A times 7B, and let's have a look at the detail. Now, as I told you, we have a sparse mixture of export model with open weights. It is licensed under Apache 2 and it outperforms Llama 2 70B with almost all benchmark with a six times faster inference. If you want to learn about mixture of export system, this is my video for you. It is available in English, French, Italian, German and Spanish. Yes, it is a French startup and you see it. Notice the beauty is it has a total of close to 47 billion free trainable parameter, but it only uses 13 billion parameters per token, and the explanation is in this video. A great shout out to the Mistral AI team. Great work. Okay, memory requirement if you run it here in full precision. You see, we have now the new Mistral 7B version 02. Great. Minimum 16 gigabytes of VRAM here for inference. And if we go here with the sparse mixture of expert system, we will take about minimum 100 gigabyte of VRAM for the full precision. But I show you, of course, the code for the 4-bit model. Yes, of course. So pay as you go. What are the prices? You have a Mistral Tiny, cheap, Mistral Small, a little bit more, a Mistral Medium. Oh, wow. Yeah, now it gets expensive. And of course, you have the embedding API where you pay for your embeddings. Great. Now, what are the benchmarks? We're here for the benchmarks. And you see here, we have a context length of 32K tokens. And yeah, so you have here the different benchmarks that are available. Go for whatever you like. For example, here, instruction model here. This is nice. So you see, this is the jump up from the tiny model to the small model to the medium model. Great. But now let's compare this here to all the Llama models that are out there currently. The Llama 2 7B, the Llama 2 13B, the Llama 1, my goodness, 33B. And of course, the latest, the Llama 2 70B. And here you have the latest two Mistral model 7B and our Mixtral. Uh, this here is a mixture of expert system A times the 7B model. So the active parameters, and this is the interesting thing. Here we have a 12B model that now competes or should compete with a Llama 2 13B model in the benchmark, but it is fighting here in the league of the 70 billion parameter model. You see, sometimes Llama 2 is a little bit bigger in some tests, but this is close. Other tests you have here, Mixtral beats here, the Llama 2 70B model in specific text. 
if you look here for mathematics here the last two might be interesting for you you see here the llama 2 and the mixtural model outperforming llama 2 70b now isn't this beautiful now i showed you here the instruct model this is an instruction tuned model they released this officially together with only the pre-trained model and of course you know we have dpo as i showed you in my last video and if you take now the performance here in the empty bench benchmark data you are with comparable to our OpenAI chat gpt or the gpt 3.5 so we have now here an open competitor to gpt 3.5 great go there hugging face it's available everything is there for you look just 3000 downloads this is hot beautiful I show you the code how to run inference of your mixed 12 8 times a 7 B. I'll show you four different versions. At first, we go here, of course, with the beautiful full fledged version. If you need, uh, you have 100 VRAM on your GPU, or you have an Apple MacBook here, an M2 or an M3 chip with 128 gigabytes shared memory and upwards. Beautiful. You notice this is so basic. Uh, I'm sorry to show you, but you notice I don't have to explain you anything here. Here I go to here if you want to reduce it now to a float 16 for your GPU. Watch out, not all GPUs accept float 16. Brain float 16 is an option. Then here, if you want, just load in 4 bit equal true, and you have a 4 bit quantization model already operational for you. From here, dugging face. Model ID Mixtral 8 times 7 p version 0.1. Isn't that beautiful? And of course, you can use Flash Attention too. It's already implemented there for you. So isn't this beautiful? Go out there, experience this. This is a very nice step. And now you see the benefits of a mixture of expert model. And there you have it. This was our short video on the live demonstration on the performance of Mixtral 8 times 7 b more testing on the way. It would be great to see you in my next video.